Joan Murray trained as a dancer and had great success in London's West End. She went on to train to be an Alexander teacher, starting her training with Charles Neal, but completing her training with Walter Carrington. Alex Murray, Joan's husband, also trained with Walter Carrington at the same time. Joan taught the technique first in London, then Michigan for seven years, in Holland for three years, before Joan and Alex settled in Illinois in 1977, where they lived until 2019, when they moved back to London. Joan and Alex trained Alexander teachers for 40 years in Illinois, qualifying over 130 new teachers, some of whom have gone on to run training schools themselves. Joan and Alex have inspired countless people over the decades with their teaching, training and writing, sharing their deep understanding of the work. Joan is a much loved teacher and one of the most significant champions of Alexandra's work with a particular focus on movement in teaching the technique. Joan, we're so grateful that you've agreed to be interviewed today. And our first question to you is, how did you come across the work? I think it must have been in one of the first shows that I ever did. And did that lead you to, to have Alexander lessons? Um, it didn't lead me exactly. I think I'd heard about it because... Um, a few other people were having Alexander lessons, not in the show, but at classes that I went to, because mm -hmm. I was still going to class, as well as performing. So, I was busy. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. And, and who was your first Alexander teacher, Joan? who was my very first, was um, Lois Kink. She was a physiotherapist. Mm -hmm. And then she put me on to quite a famous um, Alexander teacher in those days, a man called Charles Neal. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And that must have been life-changing. Um, if I look back on it, yes, <laughs> it's been a long time, but uh, I didn't think of it as being mm. exciting or anything like that. I just hoped that he'd be able to um, do something about my um, over-flexible back. Who did you train with? With Charles With Neal, Charles Neal. Yeah, first of all, mm. and uh, but that wasn't for very long, unfortunately, because he died. Oh. He was going to Alexander because he had chronic um, asthma as a child, and then of course he started to teach, mm. and. Um, I went to him for a while, and uh, when he died, Lois King, um, the physiotherapist, suggested that uh, I continue with the technique, and one day the telephone went and it was uh, Walter Carrington. And he said, I hear that you're interested in studying the technique. And uh, I thought, what a surprise. You know, somebody told him that I had a bad back or over-flexible back. And uh, anyway, because he had such an encouraging sort of voice, to most people around in my neck of the woods, um, I thought, well, I'll go along and see what this is all about. 
And that's how I got started and I haven't stopped ever since. <laughs> Once you trained and you began teaching and then you met luminaries like Professor Dart and that that had a big influence oh, on tremendous. the way that you teach. Yeah, with both of us. Dart had such insight and he got... We met him because Alex had known him and known of him. Dart said that he was very excited to see that they were following in the footsteps of evolution with what they'd been doing at the, st at, uh, the institutes mm -hmm. and that was the patterning. That, that he had developed? Yes. And when, when you met him? When I say he had developed, he'd helped them develop um, because uh, there was a brilliant man with them at the time called Temple Fay, mm. and he was the one that evolved the patterning and why Dart got so excited about that. And then the fact that we, or Alex and I, listened to um, some of the tapes of Dart and uh, I happened to be killing time and I was on the floor in Interlochen trying to do the patterning and it suddenly occurred to me uh, that this I was moving along the floor <laughs> which meant um, it was, how can I put it, it all made sense that the children were able to start walking because it was patterning, but there were five people having to take each limb and the head, um, and it, it just made sense. That collaboration sort of helped you, in a way, unpack taking Alexander work into movement, I suppose. Yes. Um, it sort of brought it to life, mm. uh, the technique. The technique in those days was a lot more static. And when we first started, you know, it was don't pull your head back and so on and so forth. And the first time I met Dart, we, Alex and I had lunch with him and he's, he invited us to go and visit the institutes and uh, we um, sat in on, or I sat in at, the, at that particular time, um, watching this so-called patterning where somebody had a head and lifted it and took it to one side and then the other and the other. And at lunchtime, we met Dart for lunch, and he said, well, what did you think? And I said, oh, it was okay, but it rather worried me, the head being thrown around like this. And he said, don't worry, don't worry, let it wash over you. Watch it a few more times. And uh, then they invited me to um, take the head while they were patterning. And at uh, first I was 
trying not to lift it so high. But I realised that as soon as I took the head, everything lightened up, the arms, the legs. This was brain damaged children. Everything lightened up. And the next day when I met Dart, or we met Dart, um, I said, oh, but it was wonderful. I felt them lighten up. And um, he said, let it wash over you again. <laughs> and then later on, Alex and I worked out a system whereby suddenly um, Alexander's antagonistic actions started to make sense. And uh, also, when we told him about this, he said, but he said, it's wonderful, but he said, you didn't do fetal. And Alex said, well, you didn't write about fetal. And so he said, oh, but it's the most important of the lot. And we couldn't understand how it could be the most important of the lot curled up like this. And uh, the rest, you know, it take too long at the moment to um, explain. But uh, he said, Dart said, you're going to make enemies mm. um, because he didn't say why. Um, he said, uh, but don't let it bother you. He said, we know, the three of us, that was Alex, myself and Dart, we know it works. And the works was that the minute you started patterning, I, and I was listening to his voice, found myself moving mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we started to show other people that it meant something. And, uh, and it's grown even now. I'm still discovering new things that uh, Alex said to, um, to Dart something about, uh, have you told other people this? And, uh, he said, uh, well, you, at the institutes, this is between you and me, we don't tell them. <laughs> they have to see it for themselves. Because mm -hmm. um, he felt that the technique, he said, had become too static. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, I was scared to even look up in case I pulled my head back. And, uh, and like I say, it's come a long, long way. And since. your, and your um, <clears throat> discovery and development of, of that, in a way, deeper understanding of the primary control Exactly. Has, it has been... Well, I don't know about my discovery. It was there. It was there. But it's... It was through Dart and us um, finding out by Alex writing about Dart, mm. Walter got interested mm. and they went along to the institutes and, um, and as I say, I'm still finding out stuff the other day. <laughs> and, and that you can do fetal sitting in a chair. Fantastic. Yeah. And that development has meant that you've opened out a whole world for all of us, which we're so grateful oh, for. Oh, I don't know about that. It was there. <laughs> it was there. there. It was it's there to there be there for everybody. It yeah. Is. Yeah. And um, it's... Uh, 
it's just fantastic, I think, because two, we're all so different. I've learned from the challenges people, my students, more than anything else. Yeah. And, uh, and being lucky enough to have had some experience, years of it now, uh, I mean, 60, 70 years of <laughs> working <laughs> with people, you're going to find someone that's different. And people say things that you think, ah, I've heard that before, and so on. Anyway. It's so invaluable. Can you tell us how you would describe Alexander's ideas in relation to movement? Alexander said um, it's towards the end of his life. It's all about thinking. Mm -hmm. And if I think of going now, it's quite different to if I just haul myself up. And a marvellous um, direction of inhibition, inhibition being um, explained everything but so simply. And uh, Frank Pierce Jones talks about um, writing about primary control and Alexander said uh, I'm a little uncomfortable with that because the head goes forward and up in relation to the back and you probably know that if you take somebody back like this you've got to think stop think hips back to come forward now, mm. not from there. And if you move somebody slowly back, just slowly like that, my head's gone forward now. Mm. I didn't have to put it forward now. Mm. So it's all integrated. It's all there, all together. Yes. The sort of simultaneous Yes, and it hits you when you're moving somebody and you see their head goes beautifully. There, it's gone. You can't help it. But if I go like that, mm. or try and put it forward and up, that's fixing it. And that's what Alexander said to Frank. He said, um, it's within the sphere of relativity. So in a way, the allowing things to happen. He said he didn't like the word primary control because it sounded like a position. Mm. And so Frank never called it primary control. So in a way, it's a condition of freedom. Yes, yes, yes. related to your head and your back. Okay, look out. Go on looking up. Go on looking up. Now your head's gone forward and up. It really has. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just slump. I'm, I'm good at that. Slump. Oh, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, Frank was having trouble writing about Faulkner, and he sent a note to Alexander, and Alexander said he didn't like it. He said it's within this 
primary control is within the sphere of relativity. Mm. So, look at See, your head, in my day, that was pulling it back. But I now know that even there, that's not pulling the head back. Mm. It went forward now. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you see? <laughs> Fantastic. Isn't it? It's like a spring, it's, isn't it? It is fantastic. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think so too. And it works. It works. In it. And Dart said, you're going to make enemies. <laughs> in fact, you made, you made loads of friends. We've made loads of friends. It, it's taken a long time. Mm to just mm. we're so grateful that you persevered though well someone else would have done mm. okay just think of coming back just the thoughts in her. Hmm. the work meant to you over the years? Everything. 